Hey guys! So today I have my Project Minimalist update. I had a blog post up about the updated Project Minimalist and uh, it'll be linked in the info box as usual. Um, but you guys want to see a video version so here we are. What's up with the camera? Here we go. So here is the video version. I will insert um, a clip that I filmed previously with uh, my January empties. This was filmed a couple of weeks ago and generally I was unhappy with it which is why it never really got loaded and I threw away the products shown in it. Well, I threw away the bottles shown in it but, so I couldn't really refilm it. So here is a really crude clip. Here. Now. Go. Hi guys! Um, today I'm going to do my January empties. Um, for my project pan thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have finished seven items this month. <laughs> um, I would have finished more, but, um, what can I say? There's only, there's only so many days in a month. But, uh, next month there, there will be a lot of finished things. Um. <laughs> You know, I have things sitting about that have like literally that much in it, you know. So next month will be full of empties, but for this month I've finished seven, two of which are foundations. Yes, I know, I finally managed to finish these foundations. I've had them for two freaking years. Two years! You're not supposed to have foundation for two years. You're supposed to have them a year, year and a half max, but I've had them for like nearly two and a half possibly. Um, nah. So this is the Dream Satin liquid from Maybelline. I do have another one of these. Uh, here this one is slightly used but mostly unused. I think I've used it once and um, just to see if the colour was still the same. See if this one had oxidised or whatever and I think the colours are slightly different. Like you can see this one is slightly more pink because I heard they'd reformulate a bunch of their colours so I don't know if this one will suit me at all. I don't know. But once I finish this bottle I'm never repurchasing the Dream Satin Liquid again because it's not really good for oily skin. Just to let you know. However, the Superstay 24 hour foundation I will definitely repurchase. Um, once I finish a couple of other foundations I might purchase this in a darker shade for summer because this is like Revlon Color Stay, only a lot, lot lighter. It has the same semi matte finish, has the same good coverage, it's just not a mask which is it's okay in the winter because it's like, in the winter it doesn't feel quite like a mask, it's more like all the moisture going in, but if you wore that during the summer it would be like, oh I'm dying. Um, whereas this would be lovely during the summer to get the colour stay finish without the suffocating feeling. Other makeup product I finished was this Rimmel bronzer. This is, I have another one in my everyday makeup box. Um, this one broke which is why I bought a second one and I just never really got around to using this up and now I have, there's a little bit of powder around the edges which I could probably scrape out for one more use but will I? Probably not. But I do really like it. It's it's got a slight shimmer in it, but it's not like a glitter bomb. It's not like, you know, when people go, Oh, Laguna's not shimmery, and then you get it and you're like, Hell yeah it is. This isn't shimmery, trust me. You can see shimmer in the pan, but on your face, nothing. Um, I finished my Ole moisturiser. I already have my backup sitting waiting to be opened. 
and I finished the uh, Root Awakening Conditioner from John Frieda. I love this range. Love it, love it, love it. Um, once I have two more sets of shampoo and conditioner to finish before I'll allow myself to buy any more. And when I do, I will probably repurchase this because I just love it. Just love it. Um, speaking of hair care, I also finished this can of Batiste and I have come to realise I cannot stand the tropical scent. I like blush and I like the boho scent. I don't like this one. It smells like coconut, which just reminds me of Malibu. And whenever I smell, co I can smell coconut in Malibu. It just smells like a bit drinking, and you know that's that's not nice. Just because I mean, if I'm thinking this, there's bound to be other people thinking that, and they're like, "Hmm, she stinks of Malibu." Not cool. And the last thing is a very random product, which was nail polish remover. And this was only like 60p from Desco. Took me ages to finish this. But hey ho! Um, so yeah, I will check in next month with my bounty or proposed bounty of finished goodies. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so now I'm going to tell you about my new philosophy. But I'm going to give you a bit of a backstory first about how I came about it. Basically the stuff that I've been showing in my project panel videos I had been working on for months to use and using the same products for months and months and months gets boring and I was getting really, really bored. And me being a silly person, instead of just going through my collection and finding other things to use, I bought new things and then felt guilty for it. So in order to stop that happening, I've kind of taken inspiration from other YouTubers I enjoy watching to um, develop my own kind of way of doing the things. So basically, I have this box and uh, this box used to hold my entire makeup collection with room to spare when I was about 15, 16. Yeah, that was only like seven years ago. And now I can't contain my makeup collection. That's bad. So basically, what I plan to do is every month or two months, I'm going to go through my entire makeup collection and select you know, a certain number of each product and put them in here. And then I'm going to pretend the rest of my makeup collection doesn't exist. And just focus on using the products that are in here. And then, you know, swap them out, put new stuff in, repeat the process. Um, it's just going to rotate my makeup collection so that I'm not just focusing on using, you know, a select 10 items. Because focusing on using those 10 items isn't going to help me use up the rest of the stuff any faster, if you get what I mean. And this way it stops me getting bored, it'll stop me purchasing more makeup, and it helped me use everything up basically. So I'm just going to show you what I've put in here. I've emptied it out, it's all in front of me. Well, I've added a few extra things since I did the blog post so you'll see a few things in this video that aren't on the blog post but that's okay. I'll explain those. Here are the eyeshadows I've picked. A taupe eyeshadow from NYX. Charcoal brown from NYX. From NUA I have 17 matte, which is like a skin colour. Um, number one pearl, which wasn't originally included until I realised I don't really have like an inner corner highlight that I enjoy, so I decided to pick this one out. I also have this loose shadow from NUA and this is in shade 5. I actually thought this was a brown, but it's actually like... um an aubergine colour, if you can see it's all gone today. Just slapped it on, <laughs> it's kind of a mess. But that's uh, an MUA loose shadow. I have Ivory Coast from 17. 
And look at that pan. Look at them big. And I've also got this shadow glare green from H&M, which I just adored last summer and then slowly I just kind of moved away from it, but I wanted to pull it out again. And of course you've seen this in my favourites video. It's this little quad that I made out of my MAC shadows. Um, I purchased one of these small empty four pans because I just kind of wanted something easier to use in the morning rather than the big 15 pound thing. Plus you know if I drop this I'm only going to ruin four shadows rather than 15. I know that's not a really good excuse but that's my reasoning. I pulled out six lipsticks. We have Beehive from 17. Amorous by MAC. Rich by 17. Blush from Revlon. Which I've heard is being discontinued in America. I don't know if it's being discontinued here in the UK. I wish companies would stop discontinuing things I love. It's really annoying. But hey ho. The Kate Moss lipstick in number three. And Rimmel Blasting Perfection lipstick in pink blush. This is like their old packaging before they reformulate all the lipsticks. I was originally going to pick 10 lipsticks, but then I thought, you know, that's more than enough to keep me happy for at least a month. For lip liners, I picked five. I have Whirl from MAC, which I honestly didn't really like before, but I'm loving it at the moment. It's weird how my tastes change. I have Buff from 17, Shock Horror. We have East End Snob from Rimmel. This doesn't really have much left in it. Only about that much. It's not all too much. Could I say much anymore? I have Honey from L'Oreal. This is Obsession from Rimmel. I also picked five lip glosses, of which I've only really been using this one. But, you know, whatever. Toffee lip gloss from That I Am. The matte pink lip gloss from That I Am. The Rimmel vinyl gloss in Paparazzi, which is kind of pretty. You know, they've come out with these in, um, remember when MAC did that Wonder Woman collection with the jumbo size lip glosses? They came out with this in jumbo size. It, it, it's kind of intimidating. They're actually like massive. Um, Revlon Peach Puddles. Um, Sleek Pout Polish in Perfect Plum, which is just really gorgeous on its own over Obsession Lip Liner or over any of the two red lipsticks I've chosen. As for cheek products, I have Coralista Blush from Benefit, Nude from Seventeen, which is gorgeous. I have Peach Melba from Natural Collection, which has come loose from its gluing. I have NYX Taupe Blush. My sleek contour kit, so I cover contour and highlight. And I also have this highlight powder. This is from number seven, it's part of their spring collection. It's limited edition, which is why I was allowed to purchase it. Um, on the old rolls, I'll tell you about the new rolls in a second. Um, but yeah, it's just really 
really pretty. That's what it looks like. I love when number seven comes out with highlight powders. It's too dull a light for you to see its gorgeousness. I love it. I'm like addicted to highlight powders, it's insane. Um, if you guys want to see a haul video of like my, my little cheats, um, just ask and I'll film one because um, you'll see the products pop up well, anyway. Eyeliner, pick these three products, it's the Milani Brown Eyeliner, the Clutch 2000 Brown Eyeliner and the Natural Collection Navy Eyeliner. I have said it was brown too. Um, and then just for like my everyday basics, like base products and things, this um, 17 primer which is also a new purchase but this stuff is awesome. I love it. It's totally worth, I think it was less than five pounds but it works really well. Um, I have two concealers. This one's nearly finished and this one's great for covering spots. And I have my eyeshadow primer, which is a must. My mascara primer, which I love. I'm trying to finish up the Falsies mascara. Um, currently I'm using the Photo Ready foundation. I can't believe I can't never remember the name of this foundation. It's the Revlon Photo Ready. And I have two powders on the go. I'm trying to finishing up trying to finish up my Maybelline powder which is smashed and then I have this which is the cream touch from number seven which by the way this is around 10 pounds I believe and you get 20 grams in here this is nine grams of product and I believe it's like 750 this is a really good deal yeah you don't get a mirror but who cares? You get like twice the product for a little bit extra money. It's great. So that is the makeup I currently have in circulation. I'll post another video and next time I swap out and show you what's in the product, what's in the box. I've also got pictures on the blog post because I'm going to track how much I use of the products in the time frame, just for my own personal amusement. Um, I know I'm weird, but it, it amuses me in some strange fashion. So my new rules as well as this, because I can't do no buys, I failed many, many a time. Um, and this time also, obviously. What the new rule is, is I'm allowed to purchase between 5 and 10 products in a month. But I also have to finish between 10 and 20 products in a month. Yeah, that's the kicker. So I've got the products right here. Can you see my hand? Right here. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to try and finish up this month. It's just going to be a quick flash fire thing. Just get done. My Epiflower Tour, which only had a little bit in. This is a leave-in conditioner, which only has a little bit in as well. Like I said in that little clip, like things are like little amounts left. This conditioner from Lee Stafford. This um, shampoo from L'Oreal, which is like down to here. So just over a quarter left. Oh, about a third. The um, hair growth treatment from Lee Stafford. There's like maybe three uses left in that. My face cleanser, which I only started using at the start of January, so shows you how quickly I go through this. Um, my St. Eyes apricot scrub, which only has like that much left in it. Eye makeup remover from Botanics. More eye makeup remover from Garnier. Um, I have two 
Um, body lotions. This is Sweet Lemon. I use these at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. And this is the Love Etc. Um, but yeah, I use these at least once, maybe twice a day, so yeah. And I have these three. I have my eye cream, which doesn't really have much left in. My Johnson's Night Cream, which only has like a quarter left in there. And then there's my L'Oreal um, Revitalift Night Cream, which again only has a little bit left. So yeah, February will be the month of finishing beauty products up. Um, there's more than that that I could show, but I wouldn't be able to finish in February. I will probably have a bounty month in March though. So I just wanted to address a couple of questions as well. As for, um, people have asked, am I saving any money by doing this project and this thing? And to be honest, not really. Because I don't really buy a lot lately. I buy like odds and ends, but as you're saving money, you know, things are going up in price anyway, and I'm more conscious of what I purchase, and I sort of lean towards more high end things when I do purchase things. So it would, what I would pay for like an Estee Lauder lipstick, say, you know, I would have spent on maybe like four things from the drugstore so um it's not that I'm saving money it's just I'm more conscious of what I'm buying when I do buy things because um so if you're wondering how I managed to accumulate all this makeup um kind of started back in 2009 when I first well, I started watching YouTube in like 2008 and then Towards the end of 2009 was when I started buying makeup in large quantities. And then in 2010 was when I had my first YouTube channel. And anyone who's been on the Candy Scars YouTube channel will probably remember Sunday all time. Um, Anna, my friend, and I would go out shopping on Saturday and we'd spend money on makeup and I accumulated a lot of makeup that year um, and that's kind of what I'm using up. Um, I bought a lot of makeup in 2010 and during 2011 like I knew what I liked. I wasn't quite so eager to try you know the latest thing on the market. I kind of could tell like from other people's reviews if it was something I was going to like or not because I knew what I liked and I sort of became more aware of what I purchased so now in 2012 I just only want to purchase things that I've thought about before I purchase them yeah I'll still come up with a few duds but yeah it's like things um you know, my skincare and my hair care, like I've got that down pat. I know the products that I will probably be repurchasing things like this the rest of my life. I know what I like with my hair care, my body care, skincare, but makeup, you know, I'm just trying to still trying to filter it down just to like the essentials because as I've said, I want to have a makeup collection like Denise from Denise Loves Makeup. She only has things that she absolutely loves. And me being a hoarder, I can't, I can't bear the thought of just purging my collection the way she does. And to be honest, um, the condition my stuff's in, I wouldn't want to sell it to anyone. I think that would be nasty to sell it to someone, because it's a lot of it's in really bad condition. So I, I don't like the thought of throwing it away because that'd be wasteful. But it'd be, be gross to sell it on if that makes sense. Yeah. So sorry for this like really long rambly video. I hope this video isn't too long. Like this is probably gonna be like half an hour or something. Like gosh. But um 
yeah, I hope this answered a lot of questions. If there's any other question you guys want to know, feel free to ask. If there's any requests you have, like I have requests to do my favourite NYX products, which is coming soon. I just need to do swatch review pictures and stuff because I want it to be all fancy do. Um, God. What do I sound like fancy do? I want it to be kind of fancy. Um, and I've got like my nail polish, my top 10 series coming, so any other things you guys want to see feel free to just request below and I'll get on them as soon as possible because um, yeah I won't be going out very much in the recent future because well my two friends that I see the most, that I spend the most time with, one of them she lives like 20 miles away so we only get to see each other like maybe once a week, once every two weeks anyways and my other friend who lives like just along the road from me she's about to have a baby so we won't be going out a lot in the near future. Um, she's in hospital at the moment Um, they took her in Friday night for observation because she's due but she hasn't broke her wires yet. She's she could have the baby anytime now. And the baby was lying right, so they may induce her. Um so I don't know. Because the head like the head engaged like two weeks ago or something. I can't remember. She was saying Oh, I've, I don't have any kids so this is like bizarre alien terminology for me but um, the baby was laying on her pelvis and then it engaged which meant she could pop any time which made us all like freak out and she held on for like another three weeks and now she's in hospital at the moment because they may induce her. I don't know what any of that means <laughs> but yeah sorry for just like prattling on but anyways i'm gonna stop this video now before it is like half an hour long so i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye